Hey guys and welcome back. I'm here with the master of metal, Mr. Glenn Fricker. Master of metal, Rob Halford's here, really? <laughs> <laughs> Rob Halford, oh wow. I'm a big Priest fan as Same well. Same here. Oh, love yeah, it, yeah, yeah. love it. Yeah. So we're checking out today the Engel Iron Ball Special Edition. Yeah, it's just a little. <laughs> it is tiny little How many thing. watts is this thing? Did you find out? Um, no, I don't know. I know nothing about it. I mm. I figured that um, that I pulled the expert in on angle amps because how many angles have you got? Uh, they're all in LA, so I don't yeah. get to play with them very much. I think I've got three of them. I think I've got the uh, I've got the Savage 120 Mark II. Yeah. I've got the. Um, I think I've got the Powerball. And you've got the Fireball 25, which yes, I do. we did the original video Right, for. exactly. I'm still giving that away on my oldies, but Batty's competition later on this fall wow. when I give away the prizes and stuff like that. So somebody's going to win that. But yeah, uh, yeah. so this is the Iron Ball. And the thing is, I've got one of these sitting back at home in Canada, and I haven't even pulled it out of the box yet because I had to do so many videos before I could even come here. You know what I mean? Oh, man. So it's, it's like, say, play with me, play with me. And it's just like, <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, it's always the way, isn't it? We yeah. get so bogged down with making content that we forget to actually enjoy playing the thing. Got reverb. Wow, it's got a reverb. We oh, turn wow. that off. Uh, del reverb and delay. No way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some controls back here for all that shit. It looks like. Also, oh, there's a gate. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of knobs on the back here. That's really cool. Am I seeing an IR oh, I'm seeing, out Oh, they got a well. power soak back here. Yep, and there's also an IR out. So there are several settings, and this is going out through a balanced output into channel four, and so we can compare. Yeah, and there's the a tone. speaker. There's a speaker off, so you can record it silently. Absolutely, and play silently. that's amazing. Well, I, I, I got a good idea. Instead of talking about it, let's play it. Let's play. Yes, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get it on. <laughs> That's almost um, too clean for an angle. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. that's that's pretty clean. Yeah. Want to play some funk? Try your neck pickup. Let's hear that. Yeah, let's give it a go. Wow. Uh, okay, that sounds pretty pretty wicked. That is really clean. I found also with the Fireball 25, that can do some really clean tones. I did a video comparing it to the Boss Katana. Oh, no And shit. I wanted to get the Katana to do heavy rock tones and the uh, the Fireball 25 to do the clean tones. And man, it really cleans up. So this is another Engel amp that can actually do clean tones. Which amazing. Is pretty amazing. <laughs> 5150 does not do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so but of let's, course, let's people are going to want to see the absolute crunch tones. Let's so hear it. So let's, let's, yeah, we're just zeroed here. Let's uh, let's see if we can. Do Now we've got a gain boost here. I think this is where it's going to really kick in. Wow. Oh, nice. Let's check it out. That's that MVB. Now, now, hang on. Volume up all the way? Yeah, oh. it is. Okay. okay, hold on. There we go. There's your gate. Let's hear it. Nice. Oh, Got to love amps with built-in gates. Those are just great. I, there, well, was, there was one on the uh, the PV Invective. Yeah. And that's a that's a crunchy as hell amp, and that's that the the gate on that is great. That just kind of instantly reminds me a bit of that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I, you obviously had. And still doing, I guess, the cock blocker? Uh, I had. It's uh, It was a limited run, so that's done. Oh, so man. I'm not offering up the cock, cock blocker right now. We might do a second run at some point. I think you should. I, that I, was I a really to, good. May I? Yeah, of I'm, course. No, no, no. Friend. Just hand me the cable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. We're gated, so Let we me. can do this. See, we're hot oh. matching the cable. Oh, that oh. almost worked. Kind of. <laughs> 
Okay. But I just wanted to try that out with a slightly uh, lower tuned guitar. So we've got this uh, headless Ibanez seven string that weighs like nothing. And uh, which freaking camera are we on here? With this guy here? There we go. Ah, there ah. we go. Yeah, yeah. And it's got these insane angled frets. This is, I guess, this is for, this is for tapping, which is not my thing. But uh, let's see what we got here. <laughs> That gate's great. Now, I did see something really cool here. It does have a little bit of reverb. Back. Yeah, and then it's uh, I would I, a little bit of delay as well. Let's see what we got here. That is cool. That's great to have that right yeah. on. Yeah. It's like normally I go for a stereo delay, but I think that'll do the trick. The fact that it's built right into the amp, I mean, like, that's going to simplify your live rig for sure. If you're playing, oh. if you're playing out gigs, definitely uh, that kind of thing. That's just like one box to break. That's not too bad. Man. And it's light as. It's not too bad. It's it's a little heavy. Whoa. <laughs> Gee, a little heavy is heavier than the cab single bill. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a really, really nice little lamp. I love the fact, that, as you say, it's got the built-in effects. And also, it'll be really, really useful because it's also got IRs. That's really great. I love a lot the fact that a lot of these modern amps now are now coming with IRs pre-built in, so you don't have to mic them up at gigs. You just go to the show, hand the sound guy your XLRs, you're good to go. That's it, exactly. And no cab, you <laughs> just have it coming for you. And, and, and don't get the famous small gig problem where the guy doesn't have enough mic stands, so he leaves a 57 pointed at the floor in front of your cab. <laughs> uh, they hang it over the top. It's yeah. always the uh, way. Okay. It's all right if you've got a 906. but um, Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if it's a 57 or a 50, no use. Yeah, exactly. no use, no use at all. Wow, Absolutely. you mic the floor. Thanks for going to all that effort. Yeah. Never had that happen to me before, not once, not ever. <laughs> so guys, I really <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this. A huge, huge thank you to Glenn for coming on oh, my and pleasure. sharing this with me. Thanks, thanks so much for having me. Dude. Oh, it's Seriously. a pleasure, my friend. And also thanks to Bo for switching. Big thanks to Henning for the event. This angle is gorgeous. The um, and thanks Ibanez, Ibanez. <laughs> and also a Nick Huber. This sounded really rocking through this amp as well. I'll be back with the best content I can just as soon as I can. But in the meantime, guys, you take good care. Now go do some work, you lazy bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, man. All right. Uh -huh.